Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and in today this video I will be showing you on how to get the police gun belt onto any saved outfit and this only works for the male character. Also don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new and also do you need money in GTA 5 online? Let me show you something real quick. Hyperresupply.com sells the best modded accounts for GTA 5, Need for Speed, and Forza Horizon. Now they do sell modded accounts for each platform you play on. And you can find the best cheap prices here. There is no other website that is out there that has the same prices as Hyperresupply.com. And also they have 5 star reviews on Trustpilot. Now Trustpilot is a legit website that does background checks on the reviews and if you go over to Trustpilot, hyperresupply.com is a verified company with 5 star reviews. Also if you want to save even more money, use code REBEL for 10% off your next order. Yo what's up everyone, like I said before I will be showing you on how to get the police gun belt onto any saved outfit. Now. This only works for the male character and also make sure you have your saved outfit ready to go. And now you will be needing to make your way over to any clothing store on the map. Then make your way over to the front counter and save your current outfit on slot number 20. And also this does delete every single outfit besides your current outfit. Now open up your pause menu, go over to online. And you will need to go over to swap character and accept that alert that shows up on your screen afterwards like this. And that should be putting you into a little room like this. Now this part's important. Hover above the second character and push edit. If an alert should pop up on your screen like this, just ignore it. Now, once you do push edit on the character, you will need to make sure you have a female character. Now if it's a male character just basically go over to the sex and put it female and basically just put save and continue and accept the alert. Same thing for the female. If you have a female character just basically push save and continue. And you should be loading into a random GTA 5 online lobby afterwards. Now go over to the accessories and go over to earrings and remove the earrings. Now go over to the gloves and on the gloves you will need to purchase the light woolen tactical gloves now make your way over to the shoe section once you're done now go over to the running shoes and purchase the mono retro runners these right here now go over to the pants section go over to the sport pants and you will need to purchase the spotted muscle pants the first one now make your way over to the top section Go over to the work jackets and on the work jackets purchase the peach camel clothes field this one right here now continue to stay at the top section once you're done find the section called the gun running t-shirts and buy the last one it is called the blue digital t-shirt and now you will need to make your way over to the front counter and make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number 2. Then back out from the front counter. Open up your interaction menu and choose the option to easy way out. After you did that, you should be spawning outside of the clothing store. Now open up your pause menu. Go over to online. Go over to creator. Now accept the alert that shows up on your screen afterwards. And you should see a blue menu on your screen on the top left show up. Now just go over to create a race. And afterwards you will need to create a land race right after. And you should see the menu change up. Now you will need to go over to the race details. Now on the race details you will need to put anything for the title and description. And on the photo, take a random photo. Now on the maximum pairs, put it on three. And on the route type, put it on point to point. And open up a pause menu and warp over to the LSIA. Now you should be at the LSIA. 
Go over to the placements, place a random trigger location, take a random lobby camera afterwards. Now, you will need to go over to the checkpoints and continue to place checkpoints till you see the bottom race length that it is above one mile, okay? Now, basically, back out once and go over to test race. Now, once you do test the race, basically just complete and get every single checkpoint and finish the race. Now, after you do finish the race, an alert should be popping up on your screen afterwards. Now, you will need to accept the alert that shows up on your screen. Then, you will need to open up your pause menu, go over to online, go over to choose character, and accept the alert that shows up on your screen once again. You should be loading into a small room like this. Now this part's important, make sure you hover above the second slot character which is the female and delete her and accept the alert. Now hover above your male character afterwards and return to GTA 5. Now you should be loading into the GTA 5 story mode and once you do load in, you will need to open up your pause menu, go over to online and load into a invite only session so you can load into the lobby quicker. Now you should see your old saved outfit like this. Now simply just make your way back over to any clothing store on the map, go over to the front counter, make sure you save your current outfit on slot number 20 or 10, it doesn't matter which one. Now afterwards you will need to open up your pause menu and start with a mission called It's a G Thing. Now, if you do not have that one, there will be a link down below in the video description on how to bookmark it. Now, this part's important. Make sure you put the player clothing on player saved outfits. Now, invite at least one person to help you out. Now, once they do join, just go over to confirm settings and on C mission. Now, you should be loading into a second job menu like this. On the owned outfits, Click one to the right and make sure both of y'all ready up as well. Now, once y'all do ready up, you should be loading into the actual job mission afterwards. And you should see your current outfit with the cop gun belt. Now, you will need to wait 10 seconds or 15 seconds exactly inside of the mission. Then pull up your phone, go over to the jobs list, and quit the job through the jobs list through your phone. And you should be loading into a random lobby like this. Now, you will need to find the nearest street vehicle, stand right next to it, register a secure reserve, go over to the secure reserve style. Now, enter the vehicle. Once you do enter the vehicle on the secure reserve style, click one to the right and one to the left. Now, exit the vehicle and close the interaction menu. And you should see the gun belt merge onto your saved outfit like this. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new. To see daily GTA 5 videos like this every single day. Also follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. All links down below in the video description. Catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.